everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your Windows Spotlight lock screen picture is not changing. So generally, you could have it set as a slideshow mode, so it would change every once in a while. But if for some reason it's not changing at all, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to go about resolving this without too much of a hassle. And we are going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just go ahead and lock up on the Start button one time. And then select the Setting Gear icon on the left side of the Start menu search. So go ahead and lock up on that. Select the Privacy tile. You want to go on the left side down to Background Apps. And go ahead and lock up on that. And then where it says let apps run in the background, go ahead and make sure that is turned on. And then also you want to go select the back arrow once you've confirmed that. And then select the personalization tile. And then select lock screen. And then where it says background, make sure it's clicked inside the drop down and select the Windows Spotlight. And then see that has resolved the problem. One further thing you can try here if we were to go back and select the back arrow again. And this time, select the network and internet tile. Select your network type on the right side here, so whether it's Wi Fi or Ethernet. And then just select properties. Scroll down underneath metered connection and make sure it is turned off. So if metered connection is turned on, you want to go ahead and turn that off. And then see if that has resolved the problem. One further thing you can do is you close it here and you restart your computer, see if that has resolved the problem. If not, you can also try opening up the star menu. Type in run, so R-U-N, best result, should say run. Go ahead and left click on that. And now paste in a path that I have in the description of the video. It starts with percent sign user profile, and it ends with assets. So go ahead and make sure it's just copied and pasted into this run field, and then select OK. Now if you see anything in here, go ahead and just highlight over it all and then right click and delete or select the delete shortcut on your keyboard, whatever is easier for you. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and restart your computer and then you might have to go back into the settings options and then personalization, lock screen, and then enable the Windows Spotlight like we did in the beginning of the video. So you may have to go back into that, so again settings, then personalization, and then select the lock screen and then you have that drop down where you can select the picture or if you just want to use Windows Spotlight. At that point you might have to make a change there but more than likely not but that's just one potential little issue or thing that you might have to do after this but besides that that should be able to resolve the problem. So like I said pretty straightforward. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.